here. Welcome back to part... I'm not sure. What part is this? Hold up. Let me check. I feel like we're at like part 15. I feel like we're at like a milestone part. Let me see. Yes. Yes, we are up to part 15 of the Get Famous LP, which is so exciting. <gasps> we are like a big chunk of the way through this LP. Oh my goodness, you guys. So basically what happened in the last part was Lakeisha found out she was pregnant and she told her friends. So what we're going to go ahead and do is just let me put my headset on. I was wondering why I couldn't hear anything and it's because I'd taken my headset off. <laughs> anyway, what we're going to go ahead and do is look at this fan mail that we got. So in the last part, she just literally walked home from visiting her friends. She walks over here, checks her mailbox and sees that she has got a piece of fan mail and it's in rainbow and it says from an adoring fan to Lakeisha Love. Let's go ahead and open that up. I am bullied because I stand up for people because I want to stop bullying some of my friends betrayed me. What do I do? Oh no. <gasps> okay, I think um, I would just say don't bully anyone and if you see anyone being bullied and you want people to stop and if you don't feel safe doing anything in the situation, just go ahead and tell a teacher or an adult. Go ahead and find somebody who can help out because uh that's what i would recommend in you know most universal cases i feel like that's what would be best you know most of the time and make sure your friends know that you're there for them okay so we also got a like package like a fan mail package so what i'm going to go ahead and do is start a stream real quick and we're going to go ahead and do like a like an unboxing. Ew, there's like a dirty cup of coffee on the ground. Gross. Okay. So we've got our streamy going and we're going to go ahead and sit down and unbox this. Let's go ahead and open this fan mail. <gasps> a gift from a fan. The package contains a lovely gift from a fan. Lakeisha received one rose. Oh, <gasps> it's like an actual rose. Oh, that's very romantic. Okay. Let's just go ahead and set that down on our table. And I think Lakeisha needs to go ahead and clean up her act a little bit. Uh, in the last part, I went ahead and obviously we announced to you guys that Lakeisha was having a baby and you guys left some comments that I wanna go ahead and read out. So basically we had a comment that I really liked from uh, Alice Para, celebrity baby. I was thinking about Chloe or Noah for a name. I really like those names for a boy or a girl. And Karen Kareen said, yay party, enjoyed it. I really liked the party as well. I thought it was a lot of fun to have all of our friends in the same place at once. And I thought it was really interesting. Oh no, did our drone go flat? I guess it did. Uh, I thought it was really fun to have all our friends in the same place. And it was the last time that we saw all our friends before we found out we were pregnant. And then since then we've only seen Michaela. Now I do want to jump over into the other friend's household in just a moment because I want to go ahead and... uh and do something but we have an audition tomorrow at 9 a.m we need handiness level three what do we have right now right now our handiness is at level three so perfect she's in a good mood she's going good we're getting pretty close to becoming a next star level i just want to keep on working on that star level really so i'm gonna have her go ahead and look at some trends and do we have any points to spend no we don't have any points to spend but yeah i'm just gonna get her to go ahead and Oh, I heard there's a talent showcase down at the lounge. Let's go embarrass ourselves. Well, we're actually not going to go out because I sort of thought, you know, what trimester is she in? She's in her second trimester in 11 hours and she's already quite big, like pregnancy wise. And I was thinking maybe since this isn't exactly like a desirable pregnancy, maybe her agency has said like, hey, you should keep this under wrap. Like don't let people know that you're pregnant because the next thing they're going to ask when they find out you're pregnant is who is the dad and then when you say that like either you lie and say you don't know that looks really bad or if you say that it is a married man that also looks really bad so i think uh lakisha definitely knew that that man was in a relationship but i don't think she knows exactly like who he is or the fact that he has a like whole entire family going on so we're going to go ahead and just walk by his house and just check things out and she's going to contemplate whether or not she should tell him that she's pregnant and i think this looks like twins oh my goodness um what we're going to do is we're going to go to the audition tomorrow and we'll do the gig but i think we're going to try and hide our pregnancy like hope that our costume hides it and whatnot and if anyone says anything we can just be like oh yeah we ate a really big lunch 
and we'll just hide the pregnancy sort of like Kylie Jenner style <laughs> and that's why we're not going to go out with Judd tonight and oh she's feeling kind of sick oh she'll have to edit that part out where she almost vomited but yeah what we're going to do is just go ahead and keep it on the down low like our friends know it's not like that big of a deal we're not like paying people off but we're just not going to announce it and we're just going to try and keep it a little bit of a secret because I think she would definitely want to sort things out personally first before she makes it public. <gasps> we got a very mean text. It's from this guy here and he says, You, a celebrity? What a joke. You're garbage. Just go away already. That's not very nice at all. And I think uh, maybe she'd be a bit, like, scared. Like, if people are sending her hate messages like that, maybe she's scared that if she came out and said that, yeah, I'm pregnant with a married man's baby, people would attack her or, like, you know, come after her. So I think that's another big reason why she would feel really scared to be public about it. But, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and film this video. We're going to call it, um, I don't know, what should we call it? Because she's, like, sort of hiding her pregnancy. Maybe it could be based around that. Maybe, like, be... Wait, maybe like, do what's best for yourself. And this is going to be a video about self-love and just about, you know, doing what is going to be the best for your personal little bubble. Okay, we're almost at 3,000 subscribers. That's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and edit this video. I think we're just going to, you know, stay in tonight edit the video what quality is that we're almost about to yay we we mastered the media production skill whoa i didn't realize it was only five levels <gasps> we are well versed in the current technology applies to music and videos these sims stream and upload content to the world to make simoleons media production oh yeah we've already like maxed out wow that's impressive. Oh, she's thinking about babies whilst editing. She's thinking about blocks. And the thing is, we're definitely going to have to move houses. So what we're going to go ahead and do is tomorrow, we're going to go ahead and visit the guy's house and see where he lives, what's going on, if we should confront him about it. And maybe that's when she discovers, like, maybe she knew that he was in a relationship or knew, maybe he'd sort of hinted that he had a girlfriend, but they were having a fight or something. So Lakeisha didn't feel bad about the one night stand then. But then when he, she sees, like, bikes in the front yard and kids playing around and they're like happily married maybe then she'll be like oh maybe i shouldn't do anything like maybe i shouldn't tell him i should just let him you know live his life so we're gonna go ahead and upload that video and that's all good i think now she's gonna go ahead and just you know go to the toilet have some food she's pregnant she can do whatever she wants and we're gonna go ahead and go over to the other household because I've caught wind that there is something going on between a couple of the roommates over there. Obviously, this house over here is very small. Like, it's smaller than our house, pretty much. And I think there's a little bit of tensions. And I think it's time that maybe some of them, you know, moved out, moved on. And they aren't exactly, they aren't exactly suited to all be living together anymore. That's what I'll say for sure. Okay, you guys. So, here we are at the other household. And as you can see... Things aren't exactly going to plan. Uh, over here, Michaela is kicking over the trash can. And then out the front, these two are getting a little bit flirty. So basically what has happened is Vanessa was in a film that absolutely exploded. She overnight became a five-star celebrity and she... <laughs> but she's still eating grilled cheese um and she just blew up she just went like absolutely crazy and her and Michaela had a fight because Michaela helped her get that role and then Michaela was trying to take some credit and her and Vanessa just got into a big fight they just aren't agreeing they are just bickering with each other and Vanessa feels like she's all that so Vanessa is going to go ahead and move out and then what's happened over here is these two are flirting they're getting along they're being real you know cutesy and basically Michaela just feels really uncomfortable with it all she mainly wants to move because Vanessa is being a jerk but now she feels sort of uncomfortable because oh these guys are still in the awkward stages of their romance but they are being like on or flirty they always sort of have been so Michaela has gone ahead and asked if she could come and move in with us so of course we're going to let her 
Okay, you guys, so Michaela has gone ahead and moved in, and of course, the first thing she is doing is going ahead and cooking up some yummy food for her and Lakeisha. Lakeisha does have her interview in not very long at all, but what we do need to go ahead and do is change her outfit so that she can wear an outfit to the audition that isn't going to show off her baby bump too much. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. But yeah, this outfit is so not Lakeisha at all. It doesn't suit her at all, but she's wearing it to try and, you know, just cover up her pregnancy a little bit, you know, tuck her. Oh, she's feeling kind of sick today, I guess. Oh, she's craving cake. Oh, yummy. Um, did you just leave those out there? Michaela! <gasps> Wait, isn't there... Uh, uh, isn't there food on there? Weren't you grilling? Oh, who knows with this girl. If our house catches on fire because of her, she is paying for it. But yeah, we're just going to go ahead and go to our interview or our gig audition thingy. And then once we're done that, we will go ahead and uh, and go ahead and move into a new place, which I'm probably going to have to build. Uh, the build video might come out like a week or two after this. Uh, but, you know, we'll see. We'll see. I might just go ahead and download something off the gallery for now and then build something later. But I think I definitely want something where there's like two low-key like wings for each of the girls. She's just going to go ahead and have a nap. She starts in an hour. Where is Michaela going? Michaela's going out to the fish pond to feed the fishies. Cute, Michaela. But yeah, I think it's really cool to have her as a roommate. I mean, <laughs> Lakeisha still is really young, even though she's having a baby. She still is a young sim, so I imagine she doesn't exactly want to, you know tie herself down just yet she's still into having fun and partying and yeah so i think what we're going to go ahead and do is go ahead and visit our baby daddy see his house and be like oh snap and then what we're going to go ahead and do is go ahead and move into a new house i guess depending on whatever outcomes comes of visiting his house you know maybe she thinks maybe she's going to go ahead and live with him and then she sees that he has a family and then she Besides, she can't. Okay, inspired vlog. Let's go ahead and film one of those. Oh, like but yeah, Lakeisha is heading off to her audition. Let's go ahead and wish her luck and let's see how she goes, you know? Um, she has a video called Lakeisha Love Standing in My Hall Wall. Did I make that? Is that something I did? Or, or is that something the game's already like automatically done? Lakeisha Love Standing in My Hall Wall. And did I mean to write hallway, not hall wall? <laughs> I think I did and I think that's the one that won like a award. Oh my goodness. That's funny Also, the hot dogs were she did make hot dogs. They were just in her inventory along with this This amount of pet poop. I don't know where she got that because we definitely don't have any pets, but okay <gasps> Maybe we have to get a pet. Oh, Lakeisha. She passed her auditions You have succeeded at the test of reading lines from paper. Please commit lines to long-term memory the next task will require you to perform without the paper. Okay. Also, I was thinking we are, what level are we at now? Five. I was thinking, I didn't know this, but you can actually go ahead and change your staffing agency. How do I do that? Uh, we might have to wait until after we do this gig, but hire a new acting agency. Let's just see what's out there. Yeah, we've got like all of them. So we could go into the everyday extras, but that's sort of like another one that's not very good more auditions for commercial and daytime tv whereas this one i can't see and then this one is grand talent agency join the goldie ruthfield family our team will provide you with the same care and guidance that goldie care that goldie provided to silver screen legends such as chesterfield coppola and ann chaplet benefits include connections with directors in history and musical genres open up opportunities to these gigs to lower level actors extra comfort when auditions are not successful ah well suited talent agency well suited talent represents only the best who perform their best and expect the best we don't you don't become an icon without some sweat some tears and some wardrobe changes and more wardrobe changes than a storefront mannequin during fashion week Benefits include better negotiated pay for drama and action, primetime TV, and movie gigs. I don't think we're ready for that yet, but maybe we could go to Gran. But I'm thinking maybe we should try out everyday extras. Like maybe we should try them all. Uh, benefits more commercial and daytime TV. I just feel like that's sort of the one we're at now. So maybe we should go ahead and change to this one. Can I do it right now? Yeah, I can. Okay. So we joined Everyday Extras. Welcome to the crew, Lakeisha. We specialize in getting talented service staff members into acting roles, big and large. Some of our talent 
even land gigs with actual lines to speak. Don't let the pressure get to you though. We arrange a few shifts at Shay Lama when the need arises. Okay, so we've gone ahead and signed up with them. Maybe AI Starving, they were being kind of weird because they were like sending us those automated messages and they wouldn't put our names in and stuff. So maybe we're going to go ahead and go with these guys, maybe just for a couple of gigs and then I will change to the gram and we'll change with the gram into a like level nine, level 10, then we'll go to um, the well suited or whatever it was. So we need to go ahead and research the angry emotion and develop our handiness skill by tomorrow. Okay, uh, inspired vlog. We're going to call it I moved out. And it's going to be about how she built up the courage to move out and whatnot. So what we're going to go ahead and do is go ahead and visit our baby daddy's house right now. We're going to go ahead and storm on over there and see what's up. Okay, so here we are at his house and she sees that he has a very nice house. She sees that there are monkey bars out the back and that it's all like prim and proper and done up. This is actually a really, really beautiful house. So I think what she's going to go ahead and do is just talking to these random people. Just go ahead and like walk on up to the porch and maybe just go ahead and peer into the house. Can we see anyone through any of the windows? I just want to see. Is someone asleep in there? No. I saw someone walk in through the front door just a moment ago. Okay. Let's just get her to have a little bit of like a a sticky beak into the house and oh I can see his wife in there and who's out the back <gasps> the little boy is out the back and oh okay I think she can hear a child playing out the back and then through the front door she can go ahead and see the wife and she can see the husband sitting like right there next to her they're having a conversation like he is sitting on the couch there talking and then she is standing there and I think I think at this stage Lakeisha knows that he is certainly married. Um, he, maybe she can see like the ring on her finger and she, maybe she's going to go around and sneak around the backyard. She's going to go ahead and sneak off the porch now. She's seen the two of them sitting in there talking. Maybe um, she's scared that they will hear her, so she's going to go ahead and head on inside, around to the side yard, sorry, and just see if she can go ahead and see anything else. You know, maybe he's got a girlfriend, but maybe that's it. Um, and then when she comes around the side, she goes ahead and sees that there is a kid. Oh my goodness, and they're hugging. There is a kid and a teenage, like, sister they're like hugging and they love each other and whatnot and <laughs> Lakeisha's just over here like peeking her head over the fence and she is just like oh my goodness you know what have I got myself into um and maybe the teenage daughter spotted this like random girl in like by their backyard and going to go like tell their dad that somebody's on the property so I think at this stage, Lakeisha has realized that it is very much not a possibility for her and this guy to be together and to raise this child together. I think she has realized that he probably doesn't want to know that she ended up being pregnant. Oh my goodness, look how sad she looks. She is just going to go ahead and walk back home. She's walked all this way from... Uh, <laughs> from uh, Del Sol Valley to Willow Creek. I don't exactly know the like fan theorized distance, but I imagine that's pretty far. She's going to go ahead and head back home and just go ahead and have a nap, I reckon. Okay, you guys, Lakeisha is in the next room. She is asleep in here, just having a little catching up on her Z. She's very tired. She gets very tired easily these days. She is in her third trimester in just a like half a day or so so I think what Michaela is going to go ahead and do is start packing up their house a little bit because they are going to go ahead and move into a new house now uh can I pick these up no can she put them in inventory no okay so we're going to go ahead and just put everything into the, their personal inventories and anything that we can't put into the personal inventories put into the household inventory and yeah just get this place cleaned up start 
you know, organizing everything for the big move because we need to go ahead and move out. She's literally like, if she's almost in her third trimester, that means she'd be like five or almost six months pregnant. So I think we definitely need to be moving into the new place so that we can go ahead and go ahead and definitely get into uh, get into getting the good old nursery set up. So I'm going to go ahead and keep some of their stuff. So I'm going to keep their instruments and like the DJ thing and go ahead and keep all of the awards that we've run, the Starlight Accolade and then, oops, not the sink, and the award for having a meet and greet, the uh, station there, and of course all of her pictures on the wall. How full circle is it that she was really good well, not really good friends, but that she met Judith Ward and got a photo with her. And now one of their friends has gone ahead and moved in with Judith Ward. Isn't that crazy? Uh, but I think that's everything like personal that we need. The rest is all just, you know, furniture. I'm going to go ahead and leave the fish pond here <laughs> because it's not realistic that we could like bring it with us. But yeah, what we're going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and build them a house, I think, next door. And I'll go ahead and see you guys once we are moving them in. Okay guys, I was going to go ahead and continue this part after I built their houses, but I've decided that I'm going to go ahead and continue off the next part once we are all fully moved in. So until next time, I hope you'll have a very snazzy day and I'll see you all soon. Bye guys!